Yeah, 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 Big Baby JTV. Like, comment, sub. Let's talk about it, man. Let us talk about it. So let me read this article right now. Donald Trump is now officially an alleged felon. He has turned himself into NYPD for booking and will be arranged in the Stormy Daniels hush money case. The former president and his massive motorcade arrived at the front door of the Manhattan cr criminal court Tuesday and surrendered just a few short minutes later. He waved to a crowd on his way in. As reported, Trump was indicted last week after months of a grand jury hearing testimony from multiple witnesses like his former rat piece of trash attorney Michael Cohen. They didn't write that. I just said that Trump allegedly brokered a 130,000 payment to Stormy Daniels amid the 2016 election in an attempt to keep her quiet about an alleged affair. And he's facing more than 30 counts in this case. Trump's attorney, attorneys, Susan Nichols and Joe Takaponi Pino, Pina told TMZ Trump did not commit any crime. He will vigorously fight this political prosecution in court. Eric Trump also shared his thoughts, saying this is a third world prosecution. This is third world prosecutor. Prosecu Pro Jesus Christ. Prosecutorial misconduct. It is an opportunistic targeting of a political opponent in a campaign year. That's correct. Trump took to true social ahead of his indictment, calling for protests against Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg and Marjorie Tara Green announced that she'd be hosting a rally in New York in support of the former president. By the way, the his attorney. Alina Haba had an interesting comparison the day he headed to New York, saying the guy is a lot like Tupac Shakur and Biggie Smalls in terms of getting a boost of popularity from controversy. I agree with that. Trump is, is an individual who gets a boost of popularity. This is my commentary, by the way. I read that report from TMZ. Trump is the type of dude who gets a boost with every controversy. See, the way to... Uh, you know, win against Trump is actually to ignore him, right? He's that annoying cousin that will keep roasting you the more attention you pay to him. It's almost like a revolving cycle. I'm going to read some of the TMZ updates about the story. So at 1130, they said Trump just walked into the courtroom for his arraignment a few minutes behind schedule. Reporters say there was a delay because Trump's defense team was given a copy of the indictment to review after he was arrested the first pictures of trump in front of the court inside the courtroom has been released his lawyer joe Tapa tacopina is seen seating next to him trump just pleaded not guilty to 34 counts of falsifying business records and 12 17 p.m uh pacific time prosecutors are asked are asking the judge to issue at the very least a warning to Trump not to make dangerous or threatening statements related to the case or anyone involved in it. They're also requesting a protective order for all documents related to the proceeding to block Trump or his team from leaking them in order to damage the trial. And the last update was at 12 32 p.m. The hearing has ended. Donald has left the courtroom and is in, on his way to the airport. So that was a lot of reading. I messed up on prosecutorial, whatever it is, what it is. Uh, most people have a grade five reading level. I'm going to get back to reading more books. But I'm going to say it like this, man. You know, I'm not saying that I'm a full Trump person. I would say, and as y'all know, I'm more of a center right you know what I mean? I'm more of a center right. I used to be a leftist. I used to be even center left, but now I'm I'm, I'm center right or just right wing, point blank, period. And I'm not a Trump sycophant, meaning I'm not a MAGA guy, but I understand optics and politics, right? I can see both sides. They want to get Trump on a actual misdemeanor, right? So these 34 counts, all of this whole trial is about him lying on records about paying for a boom boom right so why did he do that he did that so he couldn't ruin his reputation while he is trying to be president in 2016 now for according to most legal minds this is a misdemeanor this is a weak case 
right? But what matters in this situation, like all cases, is can you prove it in front of a jury, right? In front of a jury of about 12 people, right? 12 people who are your peers. Now, the thing that's interesting here is that his peers in this situation are in Manhattan, right? Because this whole trial, this whole thing is happening in Manhattan court. Manhattan is in New York. New York is an 85% voting Democrat city, right? Most of them hate Trump. Most of them would vote against Trump. And even if this went to a judge, judge ruling, it would go against Trump. So what they're trying to do, if I was the Trump defense team, I try to move this case to a mistrial because all of this happened more than seven years ago. And there's something called the statute of limitations, meaning that over a certain amount of time, you can't charge somebody for a crime, right? Things like murder don't have statute of limitations. You can be charged with murder at any time and sentenced, you know, any time. You know what I'm saying? So in this situation, this is a business type of law thing, right? And he messed up his books, white collar crime, basically, right? What the prosecution is going to try to argue is that, hey, man, this dude had done some white collar misdemeanor thing that turns into a felony because he did this to, you know, save his reputation in a PR move. Bro, if you're paying for whores, OK, you're not going to announce it in the middle of the entire planet. Better yet, in the middle of an election cycle, I think that these people who want to put Trump behind bars hate his guts. They hate him. They want him to not be part of the 2024 political cycle. And they want to remove him out of the paint. Now, of course, they want to do that because they want to keep Ho Biden in, in, in power. Yes, I said Ho Biden because he's a Ho. So why? I'll tell you why. Donald Trump presents a threat to the establishment because he's a populist candidate, right? He's not the... Uh, straight line candidate he's a change candidate ironically like a barack obama right joe biden represents the status quo and he represents old business of politics right but keep in mind joe biden is a type of individual who's basically teasing a war with russia right who's sending insane amounts of money to the ukraine to fight a proxy war right and for me i think this is tricky and it sets a very bad precedent because this is the first time that a former president has been indicted or charged with crimes. I'm telling you something, man. If you look at the history of almost all these politicians, you can find them sending hush money to a prostitute or a side chick or a mistress, 110%. You can find some dirt. That's why politics is one of the dirtiest, most slimy, disgusting things of all time. And I'm going to say it like this, right? Whole Biden and the Democratic Party is full of hypocrites, full of scum. So is the Republican Party. I'm not going to cap and pretend like there's some innocent flowers. But I'm going to say this. This is going to backfire because here's something interesting about U.S. Uh, law and just how it goes to becoming president. President Trump can be charged and actually sentenced with this crime, spend time in jail and still become president. A criminal can become president. Yes, he can literally be behind bars and become president of the United States. What this does from a PR perspective is it makes him look like the victim, right? It makes him look like a sympathetic figure. And people who are in the middle, who are center, because that's literally who decides who gets in power in a presidential election. Most uh, people from the center and independents, they're going to lean towards Trump. Right. Because now he is the victim. Right. And people would rather cheer for the victim than cheer for the abuser. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Longer video than I expected. Y'all think Trump going to get away with this one? Y'all you know, think that, hey, he's a scumbag. He deserves to go to jail. It is what it is. Big Baby JTV. Like, comment, sub. I'm out, bro.